Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 107. It's Monday morning and some people are here. <laughs> so we're doing some work. Um, we've got a couple of guys in the back working on the fence line. Um, we've got guys up here in the front that are assisting with um, the G1 gravel at the bottom of the uh, concrete subfloor. Uh, for the for the first floor area in the great room and or living room and kitchen area um, Got a couple welders back and they're, they're uh, Up on top of the roof line working on the uh, purlins getting them all in the correct positions um, And then we've got a couple more folks on the inside doing uh, of course some more plaster work um, so as uh, I'll walk you guys around and show you where everybody's at and what they're working on this morning. Um, let's get started. So as I was walking around this morning, I'm showing you guys, um, working on building some forms for the, uh, for the concrete, going to be concrete fence posts here on the front of the house. Uh, so they're starting to work those. Um, the uh, welders are up on top. Uh, starting to do some of the long welds for the uh, purlins. Our electrician down here, Mr. Chucks, is working uh, some of the um, conduit extensions, uh, coming and moving some of those rough ends all the way out to the uh, fence line so we can get um, so we can get some power out to the fence line this morning or sometime to whenever they go to pull those um, over here on the side they are making mortar for the plaster coat operations and we are spreading G1 we're spreading the, the large G1 gravel around um, so you can see um, how that's going to work out uh, they got the string lines up uh, so that they know how thick to go uh, when they do get finalized with the concrete. Okay, let's go take a look upstairs. I know we do have a couple guys upstairs that are um, pulling forms from what they posted on, or so what they poured on Saturday. Um, didn't get a whole lot of rain yesterday, so this morning I came in and poured a whole drum of water down the concrete steps. So, looking good. Up here they pulled the uh, forms off of the top bond beam here in the, the half bath for the media room. Um, they should continue going up with the um, side walls here for the door. And then they'll start working on the walls of the uh, closet here in the front. All right, so that's about where most everybody is at this morning, getting started. And I do have a couple of guys, let's see, right down here. And they're working on the other side of the Kubo as well, behind the Kubo. Um, placing rebar down at the bottom uh, of the, the fence line. And that's going to be to support the, the fence as they pour that first four inches and start wet setting the uh, hollow block for the foundation wall. All right, we're going to take a walk around, see where folks are at this afternoon. Well, sorry, this morning. We're mid-morning here, post-lunch, uh, post, uh, post-merienda. Looks like they're getting ready to make some uh, concrete. They are placing concrete in the bottom of the fence line here along the edge. They just got finished um, spreading out the uh, termiticide uh, so that we can hopefully ward off some of these uh, very aggressive termites. Um, so you'll see the termiticide. Uh, looks like it pretty well dried, but soaked right in. Um, usually when you see it, it's a thick white liquid, uh, light white liquid. Um, so that's what they utilize. 
this is this is it here so he's uh uh some of the fresh termiticide so they'll use it to try and ward off some of the, the termites spread it around there at the the base of the spread it around at the base of the trench line okay all right so let's go look through the rest of the house <coughs> excuse me so they're prepping the uh first floor getting this ready and putting the uh the rebar in above the um g1 gravel and then they'll come back with this and do um the steps underneath or the uh, spacers underneath this so mr totoy and mr willie mr willie's back on site first time he's been back here in probably about a good two to three months okay that was convenient location. <laughs> but <clears throat> okay, so they're getting all this squared away. Looks like we're gonna work on just the front entrance, uh, the hallway into the the hallway into the master uh, master suite, and here in the living room, kitchen, uh, hallway back out to the garage area. Um, okay, so the welders are still doing working on the uh that second purlin that the um tinsmith asked them to make minor adjustments to so they're working on those and we've looks like we're getting ready to make some more mortar for the the guys back here doing plaster coat as well as our foreman over here making uh making cakes making some more spacers Sneak a peek. Can you make mine chocolate? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like we used to do when I was a kid, we used to make uh, mud pies. And then Mr. Jericho's already finished the top half of the wall across the, the way there in the Jack and Jill. Looks like he's getting ready to get started on this side of the wall. So that's what he's doing back here, setting up the lines. So he knows how thick to make it. Okay, now then a little further back in bedroom number two inside of the walk-in closet <clears throat> mr joel is working on plaster coating inside the bedroom number two's walk-in closet area all right so let's go look outside in the front and see what folks are doing out front <clears throat> The uh, electrician is still connecting conduit, uh, running this all the way out to the um, perimeter fence. <clears throat> and over here, we're still on the front fence area. We're still working on doing the forms for our uh, fence posts for the columns. Okay. All right, we're gonna take a walk around. Just got back from lunch. You guys are uh, making concrete. You kind of hear the noise over in the side and they're getting ready to pour the uh, bottom here for the foundation wall of the fences. And then they'll come back and wet set uh, the first course. So let's go take a look and see what else everybody else is doing. Like I said, making concrete <clears throat> the 
looks like they're making some mortar for the inside guys too. Continue walking around the front here. Yep, still doing forms for the fence columns, fence posts. Mr. Joel on the inside of the walk-in closet for bedroom two. Finished the top half this morning, working the bottom half this afternoon. All right, let's see. Peek in the side here. Through the corners, you see Mr. Jericho's working on the top half of the Jack and Jill bath for bedroom number three. That's their laboratory. Okay, catch these guys on the inside as well. <clears throat> Doing a little bit of backfill. Moving it from the sidewalk side of the, of the walkway back to this side. Okay. Looks like we have some of the conduits connected um, here for the fence. This will um, be for the lights that are going to go on top of the posts as well as for the doorbell. And this will allow us to uh, turn the switches on and off from inside the house. <clears throat> okay, coming into the house. So we're still looking at... We're still working the rebar going across this large area of the hallway for the master... Going into the master uh, suite. Coming into the living room, the breakfast nook, the kitchen, the garage, the kitchen hallway, and then partly here in the foyer as well. Okay, let's go back. It looks like they're, like I said, they're getting ready to make some order. Take a look at Mr. Jericho from the other side. Oh, Nagawama. Doing screening. Make sure it's all level. And then he'll go back and do a nice smooth coat finish like what he's done on the rest. Okay. <clears throat> And I showed y'all Mr. Joel from outside. All right, so coming around to the south side of the house. Our welders are continuing to work on the uh, purlins up above. This is above the master suite. All right, we're still uh, putting concrete in the hole this afternoon for the fence line. Um, has been drizzling rain on and off uh, since about two o'clock. It's now almost four, still going. So no drone today, sorry guys. Um, let's go take a look inside, see what everybody else is doing. We do still have some very brave welders who are upstairs on the, uh, on the roof line, uh, putting the long welds on some of the purlins. Okay. Uh, these guys are still hauling concrete to the fence line. That's the concrete they're making there. As you can look through. Yep, still hauling concrete. And we're gonna... Inside the uh, house, they've been doing the rebar work for all of the um, kitchen area. The kitchen hallway, the breakfast nook where I'm standing, the uh, living room, and out through the foyer into the hallway, uh, the master hallway. So putting the, the rebar where it needs to go so we can start tying all this stuff together. Let's go take a look in the back. 
and see where these guys are, are working at doing the plaster coating that was going on earlier today ah, seems like we caught uh caught mr jericho doing screeding work again that's that Door. Ah, then you go over to where? To the, the bath, yeah, the, yeah. the shower, or the other? Yeah, oh, there. the shower room next. All right, slowly working his way around. Let's go take a look in here in the bedroom number two. I believe Mr. Joel was working the. Yes, still working the. Um, Walk-in closet for bedroom two. Okay. That's about where most folks are at this afternoon. Oh, sorry. There are a few more. We got a few more out front. <laughs> <laughs> and out front, we're pouring some concrete into the columns, the fence posts. And our Young man, Mr. Gabby here is moving some of the um, excess fill that they took out of the uh, all the dirt they took out when they dug out this uh, fence line, taking it from off of the sidewalk, putting it back on this side. They're going to sift it, get the big rocks out of it, and use it for fill material. Uh, put back along the the backfill along the back side of the uh, fence line. Yeah, see. Are getting a little uh, hammer action going so we don't have any um, any honeycombs on the sides of our columns fence posts all right it's almost yabba dabba do time uh, i had a late delivery so the guys are helping to offload um, some more cement some more skim coat and some more rebar they're down to just unloading the rebar now um, so once that gets offloaded, they'll uh, be hitting the bell and ready to go home. Um, today, it, it kind of drizzled and rained pretty much most of the afternoon. Um, the guys still continued trying to do most of the, uh, uh, some work on the, the purlins up on the roof line, uh, doing uh, the long welds uh, that are actually going to be the permanent welds at the end. Um, we've got a couple of uh, columns poured. Uh, they poured the top on this guy, uh, the bottoms on those three around that way. Uh, they're also still working on the fence line back behind the Kubo, um, getting the first course of hollow block wet set underneath. Um, other than that, we had some more plaster coating on the inside. Um, probably the biggest achievement so far today was that they had the, um, the wire frame or the rebar frame done for the flooring in the main part of the house here in the living room the foyer kitchen area um i didn't give you guys specifics on it when they were when i was walking through taking a look at it but all that rebar is um 10 millimeter rebar and they're doing it on a uh 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter uh grid so it's you know two foot by two foot grid with uh 16 millimeter with sorry with 10 millimeter rebar which comes out to about a, a number three rebar in the states um, so that'll be good for the flooring and that in the the main part of the house um, so that's most of what was going on today um, so i guess we'll uh, see you guys again tomorrow if y'all like today's video please give us a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these videos hit the costa texpina star right over here on the side and you'll be subscribed hit the bell icon just below the view screen you'll be notified when our next video is uploaded for your viewing pleasure so until we see you again tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.